Salawam Israel. Once again, it's your brother Kalab, out here on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, also known as uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is America. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Kalab Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Rahakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone who tossed this truth and who were well. I want to send a humble citation to the hopeful elect pushing this work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom. And everything that's being played out on the world stage, we see uh, lines being drawn and alliances alliances being formed. And this is all in effect uh, um, that the Most High is stirring up these kings upon the earth that they may take league and come against Babylon the Great and go into that third woe, go into... Uh, uh, going to World War Three. That's what's happening. Okay, so you see Russia and China joining forces. You see this uh, world uh, World War Three escalating over there in Ukraine, and it's not going to be a pretty sight uh, here um, on the at the front doors of America. Okay, we see that this place is deteriorating day by day, and we thank our power, Yah Bashim Al Shai, that He's stirring up, uh, stirring up all prophecies. Right, He's making good on His word. So with that, I have Habakkuk chapter three. Like in Habakkuk chapter 2 and 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay? The vision, the vision is not uh it's being made clear. Yahbash is making the end manifest of this of this wicked uh wicked kingdom known as America, which is um which promotes a, a wicked philosophy. And Yahweh Bashem Hashem, on behalf of the remnant of the nation of Israel, his elect, Yahweh Bashem has chosen uh, of the first fruits of his remnant to be uh, to to be delivered out of this uh, out of these plagues that are coming upon upon the world. Okay, I'm just gonna roll in the spirit. I have some scriptures queued up. I'm gonna try to do my best going in the spirit, and then I don't want this off. I have to. I, I'll get the iPad. So with that, I have revelations. Revelation chapter 18 and 1 says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the and earth was lit lightning with his glory, and he cried mightily, mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, it is fallen. It has become the, the desolation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit, and and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And see, Yahba Shemash is making good uh on on his decree of the destruction of Babylon the Great, it says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed have committed fornication with, with the merchants of the earth are waxed rich to the abundance of her delicacies. And so so this is a prophecy of Babylon the Great being destroyed. It says and the it says committed fornicated I committed fornicate, fornication with her, and the virtues of the earth are waxed rich to the abundance of her delicacies. Okay, and so uh, through the spirit, Yahweh Shemeshai has this out here like a great voice, which is going to go into Revelation chapter eighteen and four. Because Yahweh Shemeshai, we're out here to call our people uh, to return from their transgression, to spiritually depart from Babylon the Great, as we see the writing on the wall. Okay. Revelation chapter 18 and 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and, the, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay? The Yahweh Shem is is done with the wickedness of Babylon the Great. Okay? And all the earth's, uh, all the, the philosophy of Babylon the Great, all the other nations have drunken of the wine of wrath of fornication. What's that? The mindset, the philosophy where it said, do, out, do as you will, spirit. Um, the laws, the statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father are not um, the standard of life. Uh, this philosophy of America is contrary to the law, statutes, of, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. It, it transgress, you know, they, they transgress the, uh, the ordinances of the Most High, the statutes and laws and commandments. So lucky for being redundant. But the mindset is, do as thou will. Uh, you could, uh, you know... You can practice in um, same-sex marriages. You can be a transgender. You can be an idolater. You can be an adulterer. Uh, adulterer, and there's no repercussions. But Yahweh Shemashai 
his ways uh, versus the ways of Babylon the Great. America, they're contrary with one another. So Yahweh Bashim Shai has decreed the destruction of America. And that's what we're out here to warn our people, to sound the alarm, to blow, to blow the trumpet, okay? That these people, well, what does it say here? Revelation chapter 18 and 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and ye how hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as reward her even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled fill, fill, fill to her double. Okay, so in regards to the nation of Israel, Babylon the Great has been the land of our the land of our captivity. And this is the place where we suffered our affliction, the nation of, of Israel. This ultimately was our prison house. Okay? I'm going to just go to it through the spirit so that uh, it could be edifying. Baruch, Salakia. This is what the rewards, uh, this is the reward that Babylon has done unto the nation of Israel. Baruch chapter 3 and 8 says, Behold, you are yet this day. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou, thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Ottawan, our God. So we departed, we forsook the Heavenly Father, uh, when, when if we would have hearkened to the Heavenly Father, we would have dwelt in safety. So all this, this philosophy of America is contrary to, to the scriptures, to the ways of the Heavenly Father. Ultimately, this is the land of our captivity. It says, Revelation chapter 18 and 6, Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works in the cup which she hath filled, filled, in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Uh, America ultimately destroyed uh, the so-called black man. Ulti uh, America ultimately destroys, destroyed the indigenous man. We have no recollection of our heritage, of our history, of our customs, of our laws. Of our God, we, uh, this place has stripped uh, America, uh, starting with the so-called white man Esau Edom. Uh, he he stripped us of our identity, and, and so we are in the land of our captivity for a punishment. Okay, uh, we are received uh, we received a blessing and a curse, but ultimately, it, this curse is coming to an end. The affliction that the nation of Israel is suffering, okay, which is you so-called Hispanic, Latinos, and Native American. Americans, it says, Baruch chapter 4 and 25 says, My children suffer patiently, the wrath is come upon you from Yahweh, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt, it says, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. So Yahweh Bashem is uh, putting an end uh, to our captivity. Do the spirit, I'm going to grab that one to the spirit. He's putting an end, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yahweh Bashim has marked an end of our of our captivity, and he's bringing forth. He's going to bring uh, forth the salvation of the reign of the of Israel, which coincides with the destruction of Babylon the Great, and then ultimately the enslavement and uh, the captivity of our enemies. Okay, which that's uh, that's getting ready to happen as well. So let me recap on uh, certain things here. I, I don't want to. Okay, I got what you say. I got so the spirit like ultimately I was going to go into that third row as we see um, as we see Vladimir Putin we see uh, Xi Jinping taking forming an alliance against Babylon the Great and uh, our answer is all I'll make that a part of the, the segment but the spirit is changing so I'm just going to roll in the spirit like I said it says in the day the day will I call back the cat Captivity. Activity. I believe it's true though. Let me grab something here. Beautiful. This is beautiful here. So I have Jeremiah chapter 30 and 3 says, For lo, the days come, saith the Ottawan, that I'll bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. 
And the, it says, Say the Adawan, I will cause them to be returned to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. So we're, we're seeing the prophecies being played out. We're seeing that um, as Yahweh Bashim has uh, decreed that he would bring us forth out of this land of our captivity with a mighty hand, he's making the end, he's making uh, the, vision, the vision clear. He's making the end, uh, he's once again, we have awoken the Heavenly Father by us crying unto him to deliver us from this wicked place. And now he's making himself uh, made manifest, okay? Through the spirit, I'm gonna grab that as well. I'm ultimately just letting the spirit roll, you know? Um, as as we see, as we see the doors of mercy closing, as we see the prophecies uh, escalating, you know, uh, we're making known to the people that, hey, this is there's a great danger that lies ahead. And, and, and each day is going to get progressively worse. See, these people, that's another thing about our people. They're in denial. So-called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called African-Americans are people of the nation, the true nation of Israel. They're in denial. They think that things is going to continue as normal. They don't see the, uh, they don't see the writing on the wall. They don't see the forest from the trees. But our power, Yah Bashim has given us the vision, okay? Yah Bashim has blessed us with that eye shall. So we're measuring out the time diligently. And it's a beautiful sight to see our enemies uh, destroyed, you know. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 9 and 1 says, He answered me then and said, measure out the time diligently in itself. And that's what we're doing. It's seeing everything play, being played out on the world stage. Like some of the things I say, it sounds redundant. But I say it so that it reminds myself where I'm at. So we're measuring out the time diligently. We're seeing all prophecies being made manifest. And this, and there's another prophecy being made manifest right, right here before my eyes, which is the destruction of our enemies, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see, that's why you have to be out here on the highways and byways. You see, our enemies have received the plagues of the heavenly Father. See, once these these plagues here uh, that were pushed on our people, the nation of Israel, drugs, right, addiction, uh, homelessness. Now these plagues are being uh, turned upon our enemies. If you bear with me there, I'm going to just, I just with this, ultimately the spirit put uh, him there so that I could touch on it. Okay. If you bear with me here. Amen. Hey, you, hey, yeah. thou sayest, right? Yes, sir. I believe it's 30 and 7. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 7 says, and this is a, also a fulfillment of prophecy. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 7 says, and this has been happen happening quite often, so it must be that the most the heavenly Father wants me to make note of this. It says Deuteronomy chapter thirty and seven says, "And the Ottawa thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and all them that hate thee, which persecuted thee." Okay, so now the curses are falling upon our enemies, the so-called white man. See, it's a beautiful time to be alive. These curses that once were upon our people, the so-called Hispanics Native, and Native Americans, so-called African Americans, they're being turned back. And you see, that's that's why right now you see this guy, this reprobate in a truck, banging his, uh, uh, slapping his gangbanger music. The white man rejoices because he understands that uh, if our people consume, consume with this iniquity, with gang culture, with drug culture, that we'll remain in the same spot. And that's how they, that's how they, uh, how they've been able to be exalted above us. But Yahweh Bashem Yashah is the turning of it, is turning the tide and putting the plagues upon our enemies, as you see there. Yes, All right. Sir. Yes, sir. And thou sayest. Yeah. So it's a beautiful time to be alive. Yahweh Bashem Yashah is turning back the plagues that once were upon our people. Okay. Which I'll, which I'll make mention of well, one more time. I'll go back to the, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the spirit. Yes, it's, about to kick your ass. It's, about, it's going to kick ultimately uh, Esau Edom's ass, yeah. the Heavenly Father's enemy, which is a so called white man. Which is the enemy of the so-called Israelites, God's chosen people. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Right, first, uh, it, it says, it says, yes. It says, Baruch chapter four. Baruch, Baruch chapter four and twenty-six says, "My delicate ones have gone rough ways, and were taken away as a flock caught caught in the enemy's neck. Our enemies, the so-called white man. What? How did they receive us? It, it goes into say, what they receive us with with uh." With uh, uh, with plagues, the, the trail of tears, uh, with chattel slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, <clears throat> they put nothing but hell upon on, on the nation of Israel. So now Yahweh Shimei is turning back the plagues upon our enemies, as I just read. 
Yeah. Pursuant to Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 7. And you see that happening all around the earth, too. And it's right beautiful. Now. Yes, because your people, your people are dying from overdoses of fentanyl. Uh, versus them uh, procreating uh, their children. So it's a beautiful sight that Yah, Bashim, Yashai, the Heavenly Father is destroying you devils. And guess what? He's going to destroy our people as well because they do not know and do not hearken to the Heavenly Father. You so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Latinos, Yah, Bashim, Yashai is gunning for you too. Because yeah. you have a worldly mindset, all right? Well, when, they, when you say you people... You, everyone's... Every, everybody is... is uh, some Everybody... You people, everybody... No one escapes the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Everybody everybody has uh, to make an account of what they did with their lives, okay? There's going to be coming, there's gonna be a day of judgment that we, we see being manifest. So how about Shem is Shai uh, is now he's judging the he, our enemies, the heathen nations. Okay, let me go back to this Baruch so I can show you the things that we have to suffer and have to live through as as now the, t the tide is being turned where your people have to go through what we went through it's just called righteousness it's called righteous indignation it's called eye for an eye it's called righteous recompense so uh well let me continue this you can barely you can listen bro no problem you can listen okay i'm not telling you can't listen i'm but i'm this is what i do so i have to continue i just want to share with you all hebrew you are hebrew you're hebrew edomite and we are the Hebrew Israelites. So yeah, you are our brother. You are a, our wicked twin brother. Pursuant to the story of Jacob and Esau, uh, the two where the two nations sprang forth out of Rebecca's room. Boom. Okay. And I don't want to all grab that as well. I just want to continue. It says, my delic, uh, Baruch chapter 4 and 26, my delicate ones have gone rough ways. And we're Hey, so what are you on, bro? Or little, what, what are you on right now? What do you, come on, bro. I'm on my hypertension pants, which wear me out because Okay, all right. Boozed up a little or no? No, I don't drink. Okay. Do Baruch, all right, sorry. It's lucky. Like Baruch chapter 4 and 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught in the enemies, caught of the enemies. But Verse 27. So, Yahweh Bashi shows sorry, us how we know. should conduct ourselves. See, now the plagues that were once upon our people, now they have been turned around to the Heavenly Father upon the enemy which is a so-called white man. Now they're suffering drug addiction as once they rejoiced upon our destruction, now we're seeing the destruction of Esau and Edom, so-called white people, okay? It's a beautiful sight to see. Baruch chapter four and 27 says, be of good comfort, all my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for he shall be remembered, for he shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. But these are the things that happened to us. And this is what we have to do to get right with the heavenly father. It says, for it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. And that's prescribed. It's all right, you can roll the window because you're still going to get destroyed, right? Because you women are proud as hell. And Yahweh, you have to be a very special woman to, to, uh, to get salvation in these latter times, all right? This is not a show. You people think this is a, a something that we do for fun. No, this is serious. This is a serious, uh, this is a serious time you're living in. And that little false sense of insecurity, Yahweh Bashim is going to smack it away. Okay, we see things being played out. And it will behoove you of the things to come. Okay, uh, very, very great, uh, very great. And, well, let me read it for you. Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50 says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. And just like those women right there, they, they thought that I'm out here uh, as a gazing stock or something as to be ridiculed or laughed at but see uh little do they know that at least they don't turn back and be of the nation of israel and repent they're going to be destroyed and consumed by nuclear fire okay that's what's really going on out here one more time revelation chapter 8 and 50 says for my for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pr great pride Understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. This is what we have laid up for us. The Wadi Yah Bashim Shai, verse 52 says, For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time the time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready, the city is built it up, and rest is allowed ye perfect goodness and wisdom. The Wadi Yah Bashim Shai, I'm going to go into that. Rest is allowed of the city of the city of perfection is is is, is the uh, what's the scripture say it is uh, 
it is the heavenly father's good pleasure to give you a kingdom through the spirit and as much as our people are being destroyed right let me go into that a little bit as well let me go into that a little bit as well just so that you can and all the answers are i'll remember to go back to new, new jerusalem because uh we we are we have been cursed here in this land of our captivity baruch salak De deuteronomy if you bear with me here deuteronomy chapter 28 Let me go back to 30, Deuteronomy chapter 30. And one says, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I said before thee, and thou shalt call, it said, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yahweh hath driven thee, thou shalt return to the Ottoman and shall obey his, his, shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou, it says, thou, thou and thy children with all their heart, and with all that soul no, but i want to go into that's 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 when we become we come back into the fold of the heavenly father but i want to see uh yeah this is what i wanted De deuteronomy chapter deuteronomy chapter because we have no continuous city in this place we have no rest here in Babylon on the great soul uh as 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 uh, as it was our mind to go straight from the heavenly father these plagues uh, fell upon us. That's how you see the so-called Mexican, so-called African-American man and the conditions that they're in. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64 says, I'm going to start at 63. It says, And it shall come to pass that as the, the Lord rejoiced over you to do good and multiply you, so the Ottawa wrote, Rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and you shall be plucked from the land whether thou goest to possess it. That's, uh, that's us, um, us being taken away from our land now we're made slaves and i'll go into that to baruch it says how how, how oh israel how did this happen you know that you are you are in thy enemy's land when we're supposed to be the profession of beauty for our iniquity yahweh stripped us from the land to be subservient to be tributaries to these other nations because we fell away but we're that time is you know we're at it we're at we're at an end of an age where this curse right well, it says uh, the captivity of, of Judah and Israel shall be turned back, right? So that's what we're in. That's the time that we're in now. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64 says, And the Ottoman shall scatter thee among, among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither nor thy fathers known, even wood and stone. So we're serving the gods of the Gentiles. Our people are caught up in Allah. Our people are caught up in Jehovah wickedness. Our people are cut covered in Buddhism. All gods that do, do not pertain to our nation. All gods that were forbidden for us to serve. And that's why Yahweh Bashim Rashad destroyed us as a nation, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28, 65 says, And among these nations that shall find no ease, neither shall thou soul thy foot have rest. But the Ottawan shall give thee, it says, But the Ottawan shall give thee their trembling heart, and a failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind. Okay, that's the mindset of Jake's have. Just Jake is short for Jacob, so called Spanish Latinos and Native Americans, right? And that's what happened to me literally on the way here to the altar. Uh, I got a new, uh, little bucket to save gas in, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, drive up here real quick. And I get to the stop sign and I see, you know, of course, uh, Ishkar cop, uh, Ishkar, uh, an Ishkar stormtrooper, uh, fucking. Uh, just dogging me you know like like no other like he and he he like second guessed to stop like he was about to turn around but of course i have nothing you know i don't want to say we we uh we abide uh we abide uh with the laws of the land so there's no worry for me but that's the mindset that us jakes have so-called spanish latinos and native american we got to be constantly looking over our shoulders and ultimately that's a curse we got to be looking over our shoulders for our enemies that do they not that they do not slay us Who's our enemy? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, he's the enemy of the so-called Spanish and Latinos and Native Americans and so-called African Americans. And this has been perpetuated. This is this is not something that just happened. This is from the womb. If you go into the story of, uh, of uh, Jacob and Esau, it says uh, Esau have I ha uh, Jacob have I lo loved. Esau have I hated. This is a perpet. This is why you see this always the so-called white man, the so-called. Uh, the brown skin man always at uh, variance with each other. This has been from the womb, and this is not going to go away. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, 65 says, and all, it says, and among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall thy soul thy foot have rest, but the other one shall give thee there a trembling heart and felling of eyes and a sorrow of mind. Verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. That's the condition that, that's the condition that we've been reduced to. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no assurance of life. Hey, our, our, our life is, our life basically hangs in the mist. We have no security. We have no sovereignty. We have no generational wealth. We have no capital. Okay. We have no continuing city. Okay. But see, that's why uh, Yahweh, he's going to uh, bestow that, uh, you know, for the curse we have a, for us being cursed. We also have a blessing. He's going to bestow that new city, which is new Jerusalem, which has been promised to you Israelites. Who are you Israelites? So it would behoove you to know who you Israelites are. In these times of, of impending destruction, you Israelites, which salvation pertains to these so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called African Americans, which the so-called white man has deceived us through his uh, his tyrannical ways and also his, um, you know, with his sword, right? He uh, he he stripped us of all knowledge, beat uh, beat the heavenly Father out of us, beat our customs and traditions out of us, and gave us false Christianity. But for that, for that reason, is the reason that we are destroyed as a people. We have no knowledge of self. All right, I want to go to New Jerusalem. Well, let me go back to Deuteronomy. So, us coming back to the Heavenly Father, uh, the remnant, the elect. That's what the remnant, the elect, is doing now in this time. We're seeking the Heavenly Father ten times more, and that is a fearful sight uh, upon the enemy because they knew our enemies always knew that if we are at one with the Heavenly Father, no one could come up against us. Deuteronomy chapter, and this is what these nations fear. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 1 says, And it shall come to pass if thou heart. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 1 says, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Ottawan, thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. The Ottawan Yahweh will set thee on high above all the above all the earth. And that's what we sh that's what we should have been from the start. But Yahweh Shemash has given us a, a new start. Okay, a second start, which, which uh, the redemption, the salvation of the nation of Israel coincides with the destruction of Babylon the Great, the wicked place that we were ser we were placed to serve our punishment, our captivity, and our where our enemies where our enemies uh, fell upon us. Yahweh Hashem uh, gave us over to into the enemy's hand. So now we're going to be renewed to the Spirit. And it's a beautiful time to be alive, and that's why we thank the Heavenly Father coming out here on the highways and byways presenting our bodies as living sacrifice that's how we show our gratitude all right and also that we may be found uh doing all doing all to win Mashiach Yahushai that we may be found worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth so ultimately we're moved with fear because fear uh fear is the beginning of wisdom okay so and it says a, a prudent a, pr a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself hey, but the symbol but the symbol pass on and are destroyed so that's what how the world is moving. See, the remnant, the elect is moving one way. The majority is moving, say, the majority is moving northbound, and the elect is moving the opposite way. We're we're moving according to the spirit, and the, and the two thirds and the he the nations are moving according to the world. But the scriptures tell us to is to uh, arise and depart, for this is not to rest, because this polluted it shall destroy you, even with the sword of destruction. And that destruction is what's being made manifest, what's being made, what is what's ultimately it's the writing on the wall that we're coming out here, we're coming out here to warn everybody of. Okay. Let me see if I can find this. So Yahweh is going to adorn us once again and establish us as the remnant the elect returns back to that heavenly state let me see I might have to get my let me see if I can do it so Yahweh Shemashai is going to bestow that. But we're coming into the time where Yahweh Shemashai is getting ready to bestow the blessing upon his people. New Jerusalem. Ultimately, I don't want this all that to open up uh, for me more to go into. Okay, so it's 21. I had it confused. I was thinking it was 12. So if you just bear with me here, I'll grab it there. And I don't want to tell Yahweh Shemashai gave me the spirit to expound and to 
uh, go into another preset. Um, so well, we've been brought to a very low estate for our transgression. Let me see. Let me see if I can go back to where, go back to Baruch to where it says how this, ultimately how this happened. How are you in thy enemy's land? Which the enemy's land is this uh, beautiful. Baruch chapter three and nine says, "Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life." Give ear to understand wisdom. Verse 10. How it happened, Israel, that how it happened, Israel, that thou in thy enemy's land, that thou art wax old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. Verse 11 says, That thou art it says, that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. That verse 12 says, Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom, for if thou hadst walked in the way of Yahweh, thou shouldest have dwelt in peace forever. Okay, so if we would have hearkened to the Heavenly Father, not transgressed the ways of the Heavenly Father, we would have we would have dwelt on high. We wouldn't have our enemies, so-called white man, come upon us. But we're coming to a time where Yahweh Hashem is, is getting ready to turn the plagues and the judgment and the destruction back to where it belongs, which is our enemies. Okay, starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, where Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to smite the earth and destroy Babylon the Great, which is America, on behalf of the nation of the remnant of Israel, pursuant to the scriptures. And ultimately what's going to happen is these white devils, they're going to have to uh, they're going to have to rebuild and pay back everything they stole for a thousand years of brutal bondage, right? Slavery. It's because the scripture says, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Uh, he's like, uh, uh, it says, uh, let me grab them, but I just got some devils walking by. They need to hear this. time where Yahweh Shema Shai is making good on all the things that he has proclaimed. You bear with me here. So Yahweh Shema Shai is going to restore us from that lowest state that we were. You know, I get on these devils, they pass by. You know, you got some real smug, uh, crafty little devils out here, Edomites, all right? So I got to get on him. But I want to go back to what I was talking about. Uh, Baruch chapter 3. And 10 says, How it happened, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land, and thou art waxed old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. Verse 11, That thou that thou art that thou art accounted with them that go down into the grave, thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Verse 13, for it says, For if thou for it says, For if thou hadst walked in the way of Yahweh, thou shalt us well dwelt in in peace forever. We would have dwelt in peace forever. So we're coming on a time where Yahweh should not shine. Let me see if I can find this here to the spirit. Just to make it, make it, make it, make it more make sense. So let me see if I can uh, come up with something here that I got. Because Yahweh Hashem Shai, pursuant to his his uh, his mercy, pursuant to his uh, his righteousness, he's going to restore us and he's going to make good on the promise that he made uh, to our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sworn, and this one's getting. This one's getting. I've been. Uh, Psalms chapter thirty twenty eleven. The odd one have sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it of the fruit of thy body will i set upon thy throne the the, the tabernacles of david it says if thy children will keep it. and this is this is the condition if thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony that i shall teach them the children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore for the auto one have chosen zion he has desired it for his habitation verse 14 this 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 is this is my rest forever here will I dwell, for I have desired it. So you how about you know, should I set it up a kingdom and bring it down a kingdom and set it up a kingdom as he pleases? And what we're getting into now, he's scared, right? What we're getting into now is that time of the Gentiles being fulfilled, which is the time where our enemies, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, 
had rule over the world, but now this is going to be turned back. Luke chapter 21 and 24 says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trotted down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And that's the time that uh, we're moving into. I mean, yeah, that's the time that is our punishment is being fulfilled, which is... Jeremiah chapter 30 and 3, For lo, the days come, saith the Adawan, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, saith the Adawan, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, that they may possess it. See, and ultimately, this devil seeks to accuse us. By, uh, by ultimately, by he's ultimately going to set up an hour of temptation, which my mind was, my, I have more scriptures to, to, to meditate, that I was made to, and I'll, I'll, I'll get them back. But this devil see, seeks to accuse us. He, see, he seeks to smut us up with his wicked philosophy, with his wicked enchantments, with his witchcraft and sorcery, because he understands this, the, that, he understands the, the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled. He understands well this now i got it to the spirit yabba shimashai gave it back to me so that's the beautiful that, that how the most high yabba shimashai is ultimately i'll go into that as well revelations chapter 12 and 12 says therefore rejoice ye heavens and need thou dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time this devil understands that he hath but a short time so that's why he has to. He wants to. He's such an uproar to set up his uh, his false uh, his false new world order, okay? And he seeks to smut us up. But Yahweh Bashimasha is going to make good. Yahweh Bashimasha has reserved uh, the reign of the elect that uh, reserved seven thousand men that shall now bow down the knee to Baal. There's not gonna. We're still gonna be. Uh, the remnant is still gonna be worthy of receiving the promises, despite Esau Edom trying to smut us up. Jeremiah chapter 50 and 20 says, In those days, in that time, saith the Adawan, the iniquity of Israel shall not, it says, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none. And the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserved. And we have won this victory. For the blood of the Lamb, because the Hamashiach Yahushai died for the sins of Israel, for his elect. Check this out. And we over. It says, it says and they overcame came him with. And this is how we overcome. This is how we've overcome since uh, since uh, Hamashiach Yahushai gave his life. The Heavenly Father gave his only begotten Son for the remission of sins. Revelation chapter 12 and 11 says, And they overcame him with the blood of the Lamb and by the sword of the Tzalakia. Revelation chapter 12 and 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. And they loved not the lives unto death. And that's the reign of the elect. That's the characteristics that we have, and that's why we're going to bestow that promise once again. That yeah, that uh, that Yah Bashimashai had promised unto our forefathers. It says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and need thou dwell in them, for ye inhabitants of the sea, for the devils come unto you having great wrath, because they know that ye have but a short time." So that's why we're seeing all these things being played out upon the earth. We see America circling the drain, and Yah Bashimashai. Uh, making good on his promises okay and we see so now this devil understands these things that we're speaking so he is in an uptick and an uproar his lat and his last true raw and his false attempt which is going to be thrown down to set up a kingdom okay that's why this devil is going to come in with the he's going to come in with this uh, with the with this uh, severe wrath because he's jealous ultimately he's jealous of that birthright Revelation chapter 20 and 1. This is what he's jealous of. That this is what his, uh, his brother Jacob 
us as a nation, right? And starting with the first fruits, the remnant, the elect, Revelation chapter 21, it says, and I saw a new, it says, and I saw a new heaven and new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. It says, and I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So that's us being renewed as a people. It says, and I heard a great voice out, it says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacles of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, all the tears of from our eyes that, that we've been suffering to this day in the land of our captivity, all the oppression, all the affliction, uh, everything that we suffer in the flesh and that we've suffered at the hands of our enemies. Yahweh is going to wipe away uh, all the things that we suffered as a nation. And that's what this devil, this devil, this devil can't grasp within his mind how this could be. So, so day and night, this Esau Edom, he seeks to, he seeks to accuse us. He seeks to accuse the remnant of Israel uh, by by him uh, putting sorcery on us, witchcraft, by selling us a false sense of security, uh, by selling us uh, this fake ass world that our people are related with iniquity. Okay. Revelations chapter 12 and 9 says, and the great, and this is talking about Esau, Edom, it says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, Esau, the so-called white man, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast into the earth, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, and I heard a loud voice say in heaven, now is salvation come, and strength, and the kingdom of our power is, is it, and, the, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Hamashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before Yahweh day and night. Okay, how do this? How do they seek to? Uh, ultimately, he's going to make that last attempt to accuse us, which is that our temptation, which is going to, which is going to fall upon all the world. That uh, you know, that's going to come as a snare upon all the world. But the rent, the elect, we're going to persevere. That's his his wicked intention to offset the prophecies of the nation of Israel, the remnant of Flakia. With the nation of Israel receiving that promise of receiving that birthright, starting with the elect. Revelation chapter 12 and 11 says, and they overcame him. This is how we've overcome. And they overcame him with the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimonies and loved not their lives unto the death. And that's the Wadi Abba Shimei Shai, you know. Uh, we don't love our lives to the death and we're willing to die for this uh, because we are going to gain life through this. So Yahweh Shimei has put an ingredient in us to persevere so this devil understands that his end is uh, his end is at hand okay revelations if you bear with me so i'm gonna go back to it revelations chapter 12 if you bear with me revelations chapter 12 and 12 says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye inhabitants that go in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a, so a short time so he ultimately seeks. So now that he understands that he has but a short time, he's constantly creating ways to deceive us. Uh, to uh, you know, in the hood, it's like smut us up. He's trying to catch us. He's trying to make us guilty before the heavenly Father. And so he works iniquity. You bear with me. So this, this devil continues to work iniquity, thinking that we're going to transgress and the Heavenly Father is going to turn back his promises that he has laid up for us, the nation of Israel. This devil, the so-called white man, thinks he's going to be able to smut us up with this new world order. But that's why he's pushing full uh, with full force, okay, because he seeks to set his artificial kingdom, but because he knows his destiny is to be, to be uh, ultimately be utter, in utter subjection to the Heavenly Father and to be a slave for a thousand years and then to be exterminated off the face of the earth 
for his transgressions upon the world and upon the reign of the nation of Israel. See, because he's a deceiver. Okay? Yahweh is getting ready to judge his ass. That's there's no co uh, coincidence that America is circling the drain. All right? Why do y'all about shooting outside? That's about some crafty devils out here. So he seeks, he's gonna throw out, I'm gonna grab it to the spirit. So this devil, ultimately the smut, he's, he's really doing it, he's gonna do it, he's gonna put it upon the earth, but he's really doing it to try to smut up the nation of Israel, okay? With that hour of temptation, which ultimately I have the sign here. Smut us up with this, okay, and the world. So we're out here to warn the people, primarily the remnant, the nation of Israel, okay, because that's who the scriptures are dealing with. Revelation chapter 3 and 10. So he knows that he had but a short time, right? Revelation chapter 3 and 10. The and this is his devil as well. This is starting with, and then all even even this correlates with uh, this Revelation chapter three and nine. Behold, I'll make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say which say they are the Jews and are not. That's there's only this crafty devil starting with these Rothschilds, Dupont, these, these these condom hats, right? Uh, they they have put on the image or have uh, taken our inheritance. They're imposters. They have called them. It says, well, look what it says here. Revelation chapter three and nine says, "Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which they are." It says, "Which say they are the Jews and are not, but do lie." It says, "Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I am that I have loved thee." <laughs> they're they're going to understand that Yahweh Bashimashai has loved us. That's why He laid up His Son, the only begotten Son, Hamashiach, for the remission of sins, for the for for the sins of the elect, and the elect is going to persevere. Uh, over this tactic uh, that this devil uh, seeks to seeks to impose, all right, which is right here, Revelation chapter three and ten, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold thou fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So we're holding fast to what we have, which is the heavenly Father. Yahweh Hashem Yashai, the uh, creator of the heavens and the earth, is on our side. He's on the side of the so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and he's getting ready to destroy you white devils and to throw you in captivity for all the wickedness that you have expound upon the earth, okay? And we're, we're, we're to remain and hold tight to keep our good works until the end. Revelation chapter 3 and 12 says, Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go out no more, and I will write upon him my new God, my new, it says, write upon him the name of my new God and the name of my holy of the holy city of my God which is New Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from Yahweh and I will write upon him my new name verse 13 he that hath an ear let him hear with the spirit sake unto the churches okay but how about you my is going to uh, ultimately going to offset his wicked agenda his wicked uh, um, his wicked plan to deceive the world the so called white man going to try to lure you to take that microchip. Okay, this is what this whole COVID thing was about. All right, so I'm going to continue through the spirit. And uh, um, coming up, uh, because he's in an uproar, even at my job, you know, ultimately we're building uh, Esau's infrastructure and he, you know, he wants it done because, you know, he, ultimately uh, these uh, these things that he's building, ultimately, I'm, that's what I believe my, my theory, my my synopsis of the situation is I don't know what the fuck I'm building you know he has this building shit but these are going to be for the 15 minute cities are the 15 minute cities or the infrastructure uh, this artificial like, intelligence right that he has he has sought up for the uh, for the world he has to see the crafty council to ultimately bring in that new world order but Yahab Hashim is going to accept him and uh, upset him Job chapter 18 and 5 says, Ye, speaking about the so-called white man, says, Ye, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out. This, verse 7 says, The steps of his strength shall be straight, and his counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, 
and he walketh upon a snare. Jumping down to 10 says, The snare is laid up for him in the ground, and the trap of him in the way. Verse 11 says, Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him into and shall drive him to his feet. Yahweh is trying to wake this goddamn devil up. You know, show him who's running the show as he as he tries to further advance into his new world order. His dystopian world that he has laid up for everybody that he has that is gonna be trapped in it, that he has reserved. Job chapter 18 and 12 says, His strength shall be hunger bin, and destruction shall be ready at his side. Verse 13, it shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. In verse 14, his confidence, in verse 14 says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the to the king of terror, which is who? Hamashiach Yahushai. He's going to come with that glittering sword and render re uh, recompense on this goddamn devil, okay? Verse 15 says, it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitations. His roots shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branches be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. This is what's going to happen to the so-called white man. It says, his remembrance shall be, his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the streets. He shall be driven from the light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have nor son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at this day as they that went before were affrighted, just how you did us, just how we were scared and terrorized at the hand of the so-called white man, all the, all the atrocities we did, but guess what, the hell we caused we have you, devil's in your race with you. Why do y'all buy shimmy on shot? Because that they come after him shall be astonished at this day, as they went before, was a, it says, as they that went before were frightened, verse 20, surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not Yahweh. Why do y'all buy Shimei al Shai? All right, that's the destiny of the so-called white devil. And, and must be that I must have been one of them prophets. Go always going in on, uh, you know, Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. I don't come out here with that mindset. I come out to come out with uh, the third woe and all that. But ultimately, Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, especially these last two days, nothing but none of these devils been walking by every single day. And you know that these lofty ass devils that had us in derision, okay? They had us under these plagues. They had us under this curse, and under under this slavery, on the chattel slavery, uh, all this uh, bondage that was uh, afflicted on our people. Well, guess what? Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, the Heavenly Father, is turning it back, okay? And our people, you so called Spanish and Native Americans, that don't acknowledge this. The suffering of our people, the rent, the elect, this, your own sufferings. Y'all that want to be in league with the so-called white man. Well, y'all about is going to destroy you as well and your children. How about that? Because guess what? Your false insecurity, everything you laid up for, on this earth is about to be turned upside down. You don't want to hearken to the Heavenly Father, which is the, which is the God of the heavens and the earth. Which is the God of the Bible, which is the God of, of Israel, right? The God of you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and, and so-called African Americans and Native Americans. But she see our people, they're hard headed. So Yahweh Bashim Hashai has to afflict them through death, uh, through it says, then shall they understand it through uh pain by death. Pursuant to Second Ezra, I believe that's in Second Ezra chapter fifteen, I believe. Hey, but nothing but nothing but uh a great great uh great destruction and famine is coming upon the earth, okay? I can I couldn't expound uh more thoroughly on, on that. And I'm gonna have it here. Revelation chapter 15 and 1 says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I'll put in thy mouth, saith the Adawan, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse 3 says, Fear not the indignations against thee, let not the unbelief, right, which is incredulity, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse 4 says, For all the unfaithful shall die on their unfaithfulness. Verse 5 says, Behold, saith the Adawan, I'll bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine death and destruction and just as i started uh, everyone's drunk on the on that wine of the wrath of the fornication which is the babylon that spirit of babylon second Ezra chapter 15 and 6 says for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled it says therefore thus saith the Adawan, speaking on that speaking on the mighty hand that yahweh by shem uh, is going to pull out his remnant. The elect Yahweh has reserved 
his remnant for salvation. Yahweh Shai with a stretched out and mighty hand is getting ready to snatch it, snatch it, snatch us up out of here. All right. Second Ezra chapter eight. So like second Ezra chapter 15 and eight says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them and them things that they in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the it says, Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Verse 9 says, it says Therefore, saith the Ottawa, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Uh, amongst who? The remnant of the elect of the nation of Israel. Verse 11 says, But I will bring them with a the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten. With the plagues, lock here. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague, and the punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. It says, they that it says, they that till the ground shall mourn, for the seed shall fell to the blasting of hell. It says, and there, it says, and the fear. It says, and with a fearful consolation, woe to the world, and then thou draw her in, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up. To fight against another with swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their, their kings nor their prisons. These people are going to be lawless out here, and you've seen that already taking place with uh, the so-called arrest of you see uh, protests is being uh, this uh, Donald Trump right? He called for protest, protest. So that's going into the sedition. There's going to be you have that going down already in France because they hire they up. The retirement age, these people that were banking on the retirement money, they can't get it. So everything is failing. Everything is crashing. Every, everything is, is a, a, at a total collapse that Yahweh Bashim is bringing upon the earth. That's why, that's why, that's why these things is going to come to pass. This sedition among men. And it's all, it's, it's the perfect, it's the perfect storm that Yahweh Bashim has uh, brewing. Okay. Great miseries upon, are upon the earth. And this is a time that Yahweh Bashim is making good on his promises. And like all that has a beginning and the end, the end is being made manifest right before your eyes. Right before our enemy's eyes. Also to let them know their destiny, which is to go into slavery, so-called white man, for all the crimes that they have done to the nation of Israel, to the to the people of the Heavenly Father. So-called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Israelites. And in the latter times, we will come to the knowledge of who we are as a people, uh, which... Which, which we were so deceived uh, through the uh, the white man's controlling of the narrative, which he gave us a false Christianity. But all these strongholds are being broken down through the preaching of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me grab that. So why do y'all Mashiach Yahweh Shai? So with this word, like the brothers, like the elder, I should say, uh, us preaching, uh, us. Pre well, that's a scripture. Well, let me go to it, to the Spirit. Matthew. Matthew chapter twenty-four and fourteen says, "In this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in the Philadelphia." Matthew chapter twenty-four and fourteen says, "In this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come." So us preaching this, basically we're speaking that you're the destruction of the so-called white man's world into existence. The preaching of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, okay? And your little phony ass uh, TikToks and is and, and uh, false sense of security out here is gonna get you killed. And this, you know, you got you got all these fucking reprobates walking around with their head up their ass. I, I just throw shit out there. But according, we going to the current. Uh, but what's really going down, according to the scriptures, that once this word gets out, the Yahweh is going to bring the destruction. Okay, and he's making it he's making it known through his signs, uh, through the signs and effects. Right? Let me grab that one to the spirit. And and you know what? Uh, as we get closer to that mark, as we get closer to the end, you know, Satan is, is going to go harder on us. So Yahweh is ultimately building this up for this fight. Luke chapter 21 and 28 says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nine. Uh, with, what things? Uh, World War Three escalating. The collapse of the, uh, the economy. 
famine, uh, famine, death and destruction, rumors of wars, uh, mighty earthquakes, right? Hells, hells and tempests. You've seen what Yahweh Hashem Yahshai brought. Uh, was it Ecuador and uh, I, I, there was like another one? Uh, I think it was as of today. Uh, oh yeah, in Pakistan, there was another earthquake today. So Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is bringing the noise. He's making good on all these things. If you bear with me here. Ooh, I could have got that one. Check this out. Isaiah chapter 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Ottawa post with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm, tempest, and a flame, a devouring fire. Okay. But that's what Yahweh Shemel Shah is bringing. I'm going to go to Second Ezra 9, speak about that, uh, you know, that vision, that, well, the end being made manifest, right, in Adonai Tazal, because I've seen it while I was flipping through, Ecclesiastes, you know, remember now that creator in thy youth, before the evil days come nigh, for you have no pleasure in them, because ultimately that's what's coming down the pipe, all right, bear with me here. Genesis chapter 9 and 6 says even so and those were the signs you know in Isaiah 29 and 6 you know the tempest uh, earthquakes all these things are happening you know this is as an indicator of the times that we're living second Genesis chapter 9 and 6 says even so the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs and everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where he have believed Shall be preserved from the said perils, and it says, and see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. That's the remnant the elect. Yahweh There's men that He has. Adon Ratzah. I be of that number, and this is speaking of those that are not chosen, right? Those that have been destined for destruction, the heathen nations, and the two thirds of our people, pursuant to Zephaniah chapter three, right? Second Ezra chapter nine and ten says. For such as in Salakia, Second Ezra chapter nine and nine. This is why the the Most High is going to destroy these people because they have a lofty spirit. They they don't want to turn back to the Heavenly Father. They think they have a pride of life, right? They think that they're going to find their solution within themselves. So the words that we speak hold no value. But Yahweh Shimon Shai is going to totally upset them, sorely upset them. Second Ezra chapter nine. And eight and nine says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. That's our people. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as there in their life have received benefits and have not known me. For so says, and they have and they have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Hey, our people, they, you know what I mean? Our people, they, we tell our people, hey, man, this shit's really going down, right? I, I believe I told you. I don't know if, if you're the cat that I was talking to. But I tell you, like, hey, bro, this is something you just can't come into and walk out, bro. It's going to continue to get progressively progressively worse, bro. And that's why we're out here on the highways and byways uh, exhorting our people to, to warn them of the said perils that's coming upon the earth, all right? Um, so... I laid that down. I just want to go into something else right now. Hey, because, hey, it's just fucking getting close, bro. I'm telling you, brother. This shit is getting close, bro. Check this out. So that's our job. It's, you know, we can only do so much uh, for our people, and and our job is done. We, we because So y'all, Bashim, Masha, used to get told us, you know, hey, we got to fucking, we got to wash our hands, uh, yeah. you know. We got to wash our hands. Why? Because of the destruction that's coming, right? So we... We can't make nobody believe, you know, that's up to the Heavenly Father. But we can, what we can do is stand out here and, and, and make our calling election sure, blow the trumpet in Zion, you know, you're speaking to the house, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? That's what we can do, you know, uh, in hopes that our people uh, hearken to this shit that's really getting real, man. <laughs> word, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, nice seeing you, brother. I, I thought I <laughs> thought I recognized you. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. All right, brother. Thank you. How about Shimei Al Shai? Yeah, man, see, it's beautiful, and it's beautiful that I see you, too, man. You're supposed to be out here, bro. 
Hey, it's it's you supposed to be out, out here, bro. I was out here earlier. Good. I was oh. out here blowing my voice like a trumpet. Oh, okay. Then do your thing, man. I, I, hey. I was actually about to go right now, and so I see you. I was like, man. For sure, brother. For sure, yeah. Hey, it's getting it's getting down to the wire, bro. It's, it's it's beautiful though, and it's all through the spirit that he had you come by right now too. You know. I'm gonna just grab this one. Uh, part two more precepts, and then um, I just close out from there. You know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just rolling the spirit, but I can tell to the spirit, y'all about shit, my shit is increasing me, bro, because, like, it's not all, sometimes, it's a little bit choppy, but, like, I'm, you know, we're, we're just, all we're commanded to do is to, to do it to the best of our ability, bro. None of us, ain't none of us out here got a degree and, and uh, public speaking, you know, so we just out here just doing it to the best, and we, we do what we, yeah, we do what works, and then we do what, what the Heavenly Father gives us to the spirit. That's that, but, uh, and that's what that's all he expects, you know. That's we gotta, we gotta make sure what we're doing it for. Yeah, what are we really doing it for? Salvation. Salvation. You can never lose sight of that, and that's the thing. That's gonna be a great separator. Well, and then okay, of course, salvation. But make sure you're doing it in honesty, since that, that those all those things coincide with each other. Right. Because you know, if you're doing it for salvation, that means you're 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 not doing it for hype. You're not doing it for views. You're not doing it for none of that. You're doing it just to, to, save, to save yourself, bro. That's it. That's it's, it's honest work. We're trying to save ourselves because that was the We're trying to save souls. We're trying to bring the, the people back. God, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome to God's party. Everybody's well, welcome. The rem, the, the nation of Israel, right? We can't not 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 everybody because because everybody's Esau, welcome. the everybody's heathen, welcome. the heathen nations can't come into this. Why not? <laughs> I, because, I understand, man. Because. Is, what did you say? He said to the Jew birds, and then what? And then to the Gentile. That's talking about our the Gentile, and I wrote those those the things down. So word. basically, you're on a Christian doctrine, then. I'm then. Not a Christian, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm following Christ's words. This is words, man. If we're not following Christ, we're trying to go uh, uh, out of the box. Then we 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 adding words to the book. We can't add nothing to the book. But I see I see what you're talking about, though. But the thing is, like. That's the old law, right? But Jesus came to fulfill that law. He came to fulfill that But the people were oh, disobedient. They are disobedient. Man, the people were disobedient. So he's like, okay, you're not going to receive my word, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the highways and hedges. What did he say? I'm going to go to the highways and hedges. Boom. So he went to the highways and hedges. And whoever received, he said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Let them hear. But yeah, man. I mean, that's, I mean, oh, hey. Everybody get out here. If you haven't received it, you, you can't. You, if you can't see, you can't see. Like I told you, you can't. I can't tell you what. Well, before what I, the way I see it, and the way I'm reading it, salvation, and it says it. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. We can't go. We can't get around that. And the new covenant, which I just read, is for the is for is Jesus. is is the kingdom which the Israelites have promised. Which the Israelites have promised you. I I'm not trying to go back and forth like this. I'm already coming to the end of my my video. Uh, but hey, that, that's I mean that, that's that's your prerogative now. You know, like my thing, my thing was I never been I never been anything. I never been Israelite. I never been nothing. I always been a follower of Christ. That's what I always been. Man. See, that's that's yeah. the thing, bro. We're not followers. Of, we're we're I'm a follower of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and yeah. that's the true doctrine. That Christ shit is is for the birds, bro. And but if that's what you want to do, do what you want to do. I can't tell you. I can't tell you I what know, you want to. Preaching, man. I don't know, because he's talking about Christ is the Christ, man. Christ is the way. He said, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, man. That's cool, man. God Do bless you, All right, man. Say up, man. God bless. So, we're out here trying to show our people, hey, to turn back to the Heavenly Father and, and uh, repent and believe the gospel and get away from that plantation Christianity that, that was been beat over our head. But see, our people don't want to listen. That's ultimately going to fall into their own condemnation. It's, we've already doing our part. Uh, to show our people and that that was that was crazy right there, but whatever man. I can't I can't do nothing Damn whatever All right, so um, I was interrupted I thought this this so this Jake happened to be somebody I thought that was uh, ex Accepting a, a believer in Hamashiach, but turns out not but that's not my problem uh, uh, that's between him and the Heavenly Father. So with that, I have Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 1 says, Remember now that creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, 
Thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And who's the cre who is the creator? The Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's the, that's the Heavenly Father. And that's who we're, uh, we're to seek. Uh, we're, the, we're to seek ten times more. And to turn away from that idolatry that our people are consumed. Verse 2 says, While the sun or light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. It says, In the, it says, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grind is ceased because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened. And so everything's going to come to naught. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai for, um, for making good on his promises unto the, uh, to the remnant of the nation of Israel. So with that, I'm going to give thanks to the Heavenly Father. First Chronicles chapter 16, 8. It says, give thanks unto the Ottawan, call upon his name, make known his deed among the people. Verse 9 says, sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Verse 10, glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Adawan. Verse 11, seek the Adawan and his strength. Seek his face continually. So with that, I'm going to just end it there. You know, the Wadi al for allowing me to come speak in his name. And, and allow me to speak uh, our Savior, our Lord Hamashiach Yahushah. So with that, I want to give all honor and glory to my power. Which is Yahweh, Kala, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Akadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone who taught his truth and who rule well. I want to give a humble citation to the hopeful elect, pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.